our first dawn in South Africa. Here, we were just arrived the night earlier. We went at dawn at Blood Canyon to see the spectacle, basically. It was uh, just amazing, to be honest. And after this, we started actually going uh, towards Kruger Park. So we entered the Kruger Park through one of its nine gates. As soon as we crossed the gate, we were greeted by these elephants. There was also a few giraffes around and believe it or not, we saw a leopard after driving for just 20 minutes inside the park. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get it in video, but we have some pictures. Anyway, we were starting our safari in the best possible way. self-drive. It's one of the things about the Kruger Park that you can drive by yourself basically. And of course there are other activities, we'll do them in the following days. But at the moment it's just us in the car looking for whatever animals. We have yet to see buffaloes actually. There's maps with spottings everywhere and they were seen in a lot of points but we didn't see them yet. I wasn't expecting something like this. It's beautiful and it's huge, it's very big. Uh, actually, Kruger Park, it's more or less the size of Israel. So, quite large, you know. And although it's very large, it's quite easy to spot animals around. As you can see, there's a net here. We're in the camp and we here to protect us from Wild animals, let's say. We just spotted some antelopes that were a bit on scared, let's say. And now we're seeing hyenas with uh, puppies. Oh my god. No, we just stopped the review point here to see if we could spot some animals. I think this is a hippo. We saw a couple of the hyenas and there's another thing over there. Anyway, it's nice. We just saw a family of zebras, very nice. We, we already saw some zebras, but this was a family with a tiny zebra. Hey, baby. There, there are these destroyed. Uh, we just passed by like four families of elephants with tiny, 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 tiny elephants. Uh, they were crossing uh, the street, they were going down to the river, at least for families, because they were already passing by when we arrived. So.
That's uh, a car of rangers in front of us right now. We are uh, close to the Mozambico border and uh, we learned that basically a lot of poachers uh, come in from Mozambico side because Van de Kruger Park was uh, joined with a larger Impopo Park. They had to open the border at various points. We are also eating these uh, sticks of dry meat while we are around. Very nice, very good. Typical. At some point, we saw the hippo and decided to follow it, hoping to find others. The hippo took us to the river, where we found some other hippos over there. We were very careful, because hippos are among the most dangerous animals for humans. Unfortunately, a ranger was killed by a hippo one night in Kruger while we were over there, so no joking. And then, off in the distance, you can see a water buck. They are very nice and we fell in love with them. We call them Circli because of the lips on their backs. So cute. This morning we saw our first buffalo, finally. We already saw a leopard, so we're missing big cats, essentially, and a lot of other small animals. And we saw a family of baboons. There was a mom with a little cub on her back. Yeah, it's so cute. We are now at the rest camp, uh, getting some rest, <laughs> actually, after a long drive. It was very nice, but quite long, and it's quite hot, actually. It shouldn't be this, this hot. Right now it's winter, it's full winter, but still, it's hot. Uh, about 32 degrees. In a while, we'll be going uh, to the Sunset Drive. There's a guide that will take us by car, going around and looking for animals. We'll see how it goes. And this is our first lion. It was almost dark and it wasn't easy to see and capture animals at all. This young guy got scared by our truck, but he decided to get on the side of the road in the tall grass and to hide there, waiting for us to leave. After a brief late fixing stop with our guide, we drove back to the area where we saw the lion previously. And here we found an entire pride of lions going out, most likely to hunt. Unbelievable. Unfortunately it was already very dark and it was hard to keep the lights steady. Very very hard. Yeah. But it was an amazing experience. Definitely, definitely worth everything.
and this is how we closed our day. And the day after, we got on another drive with guides. And it was, well, you'll see. We stopped there, there was a, a couple of families of elephants. And by the way, we found uh, this configuration, uh, which is very nice because both of us have both line of sights free, let's say, and it's also easier to spot animals because while I'm, while I'm driving, she can look both sides while sometimes I have to look at the road in front of me, you know? Suddenly, we noticed a big comity of vultures up on the trees. The trees were just filled with vultures. And there were many of them flying in circle up above. So we decided to get closer because we thought that something might have happened. And sure enough, in a hole in the bush, far away, we saw this lion that was eating something big. We tried the best way to move around the lion and we saw that it was a freshly hunted buffalo that this guy was eating at the moment. And around there was so many other young lion males. And who knows, maybe some of them 
were the same that we saw on the night earlier. Who knows? But it was full with lions. It's just that there was a lot of tall grass, so it wasn't easy to see them, uh, capture them, but it was lions everywhere. And so this was one of the highest points of the whole safari that we had. We're at a new rest camp. This morning we went for a sunrise drive and I couldn't take any video basically at the time explaining what we were about to do because it was four and a half in the morning. It was completely and totally dark. It was impossible to take anything. So now here we are. We drove a lot to get here from our previous rest camp. But anyway, uh, the main difference that we saw and that we can tell about driving by yourself in Kruger or, you know, going in organized groups in drives uh, at the moment, the, there are two main differences. One is you don't have to, to drive yourself, which is already, you know, a good thing if you're not a lot into that. And the other good thing that happens is that you go out at times when you are not supposed to be out. So usually gates here open at 6 a.m. and close at 6 p.m. and you cannot be outside in the park at those times. So while drives usually uh, leave around 5 a.m. and stay out until 7 and a half or 8 p.m. It depends when they leave. So there's that for sure. But apart from that, th th those are the same roads that you can take yourself with your car. It's not like there are secret roads or whatever. So the main difference is you go out basically in the dark and you can see also animals that are usually more active at night. This is the view that we have from the camp. There's a river passing by and the hope is that animals will come here, you know, to drink, to get a freshen up. Usually where there's water, there's animals. That's the main rule, I guess, that almost everybody knows it. Now, it was very, 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 very easy to spot animals and to be able to stop, you know, with your time, take out your camera, maybe even change your lens and then snap pictures, take footage, make some videos uh, or just enjoy them, you know. You can also do that. It's, it's very nice. I wasn't actually expecting this. I was expecting it to be much more, let's say, touristy in a way, uh, although it is for sure a bit touristy, but uh, I was expecting maybe something a little bit worse, uh, but it's not. It's, it's, it's very nice. It's very, 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 very beautiful. And we were quite lucky. There's a big kudu over here. If you can see it, you can spot it. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's basically a very big antelope. Quite, quite big. Which is feeding just after the net, basically. Tomorrow we will also try the working safari and we hope that it's gonna be very, very nice. Uh, the expectations are quite high, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but we will see.